So welcome to another game chat with the Rob Man. He's here. I am here. And what is right this thing here. on your arm here? Oh, this this is what's known as a pick line. So basically, oh, you, don't, you don't have to show all of that. You don't want me to show all that? No. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Jeez. <laughs> you don't want me to show that off? So that's for your antibiotics, eh? Yes. That's uh, that's where basically there's a tube that runs from my bicep up to uh, just above my heart. Yeah. And I have to shove antibiotic medication through that every day. Jeepers creepers, I know. And I'll just squish it right there for you. <laughs> <laughs> That would be horrendous. Uh, we got you over here today to talk about video games because you've had a little bit of time, a little bit of time to play some video games. We talk about video games? Sometimes we talk about video games. Do we? Yes. What have you been playing? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I have been on a massive Resident Evil kick lately. Yeah. We've so. talked about this a little bit, uh, but we're going to talk about it right here today. Uh, yes. We've got a lot to talk about. So, uh, so let's start with um, the Resident Evil... Eight demo that's out. That yes. Is yeah. Beautiful. Unbelievable. It's it's fun. Mm, it's I love fun. It. Um, Graphically, yes. I'm just like. Yeah, love it. we can get into that right but, right away. But here's what here here's the thing. Just mm. for for the what, why I use that as the intro. Playing it, I had forgotten almost everything about Resident Evil Seven. We had talked about this. That I'm the same way. I just remember some cultists and stuff like that. Kind of like, you well, know. Well, there was that crazy redneck family, family and yeah. then they had this weird thing that mutated them, and that's about all I remembered. Yeah. I just remember I, running around doing puzzles. That's yeah. all I kind of really remember. And I kind of thought, well, okay, but is this tied to eight? And if so, how so? Which I know all of the hardcore Resident Evil fans out there right now are screaming at the screen, calling me an idiot, and that's fine. Um, so I went back and looked at it, and yes, Ethan Winters. Yeah. Who's the main character in eight? Right. Was the main guy in seven? Right. So, that being said, I I wanted to play through it again. Mm -hmm. But before I did that, I wanted to revisit Resident Evil Two Remake. So this is a bit of a now we're traveling back to get to the beginning and then coming back for. So I went back to Resident Evil 2 Remake because I got most of the way through and I don't know why. I got mm -hmm. sidetracked. Mm -hmm. Once again, something shiny showed up and I went, oh, ding. Yeah. Um, so I went back, started over and replayed the entire thing yeah. from start to finish and then replayed. So I did Claire's scenario first and then I did Leon's. Oh, it reminded me of why I love that game so much. I know. Oh, and so I'm going to oh. I'm gonna say something. So this is interesting why we, we, we knew we were going to talk about it. Because I went through Resident Evil 3, the remake, which yeah. you have to do as well. I have to now, yes. I played it again, and I came to a conclusion of something. And I'm, for myself pers personally, yeah. for Resident Evil, the entire series, I like 1 to 3 the best. Yes. Agreed. I like 4. 5, no, not so much. I, I never six, even finished whatever, 5. Yeah. I never played 6. Uh, 7 was okay. 7 was good. I like seven. But, but we'll get to that in a, in but a little it's, bit. But to me, it's kind of like over here. Seven yeah, is kind yeah, of like, over here. I, that... I, I like what they did with the remakes mm -hmm. uh, of two and oh. three so much. I, I just love the over the, the over the shoulder, you know, seeing your character. Okay. I mean, seven and eight don't have that, and that that's a little bit of a miss for me. But interesting. I, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play eight. I'm gonna love it. I, I like just from looking at it. It's yeah. fun. I played the demo as well. But I prefer two and three. But here's the thing. I got one more thing to say, and you can agree with me or not. Yeah. I boiled it down to why I like Resident Evil. It's very simple. It's not what you think. It's not what you think. Interesting. For two and three, why I like them the best is because it reminds me of Alien and Aliens. Isn't that fascinating? So the end of Resident you know Evil what? 2. Yes, you, you, I can see it. I can see why. Yeah. Yep. You, it's it's kind it. of the isolation feeling. Yep. And then, like, say the end of two, you're running all the way through, uh, you know, trying to get out of the facility, and the, the, you know the, the, the countdown and all of that. And yeah. also, you're conserving bullets, you know, just kind of like in yeah. Aliens, you didn't have that much gear and all of that. And then, especially into three, three quite literally is Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, it pretty much is. is and you're running around with all this gear and stuff, dude. Yeah. And then when you get to the end yeah. boss in three. 
it's like it's like a, a, an alien queen. It's kind of like that feeling, and I think that's why I like Resident Evil. I like the zombies and I like the yeah. atmosphere and the music, but I boil it down to that kind of little bit in there. That it's really, feeling, man. yeah, that feeling. It gives me that feeling of like why I love aliens and stuff. Yeah, it's so good. I've never thought of it that way before, Neither, but I can see it. I, I was driving over to now pick I you up today, it. and I was I was thinking about, it, and I've been thinking about it last week, and that I think is why I love that. And yeah, that's Resident cool. Evil. Two and three are so. One is just like a punishing game to it, begin with. It is. Yeah, it's it is. great. It's, but, it's yeah. great, but I mean that game yeah. was so hard. Yeah, back so back hard. in the day on the PS One. Yeah. Oh yeah, and yeah. then. But two and then three, and I mean two when it first came out, we've gone over our stories so of that times, so many yeah. times. But it holds that special place in my heart. Yeah. What I love Capcom for with the two remake, and I'm sure I'm going to see in the third remake, is that they did make enough changes mm -hmm. that you get a fresh experience yes but they kept enough of it the same that the nostalgia is there like if you download the original soundtrack especially which you which, told me to do which and is you absolutely the smartest man alive which is stupid it should have been included should, in the game it should have just used the original to soundtrack be, to be honest right. with you and here's something that i'm going to say uh for resident evil 2 remake and 3 no. i have downloaded so much of the dlc Okay. Yeah, I, 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 and I just, I never usually do that with a lot of games, but yeah. I wanted more. I wanted more. I wanted, I wanted her outfit from the original Resident Evil 3, yes. things like that, you know, they're nostalgic to me and all that. And I, and, you know, a couple bucks here and there, it starts to add up, you know. Well, see, that's where, like, I'm going to go and play, I haven't played 3 yet, but I oh, did 2. So much fun. And then I was like, I need to do 7 because once I realized it's the same guy, and then I said, well, yeah. there's... There's DLCs for that. Yeah, oh, gee, that's crazy. That I needed to play, I and now I want, I want to get into this. That's fun, yeah. So, Resident Evil Seven, I did my playthrough, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're safe for spoilers at this point. No one's gonna be too mad. Mm, be careful. I, I, I wouldn't. I made the decision towards the end of the game that is canon to eight, and that's all I'll say. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Finished out the scenario. There are two DLCs that were called Band Footage that I haven't played. It's just that crazy guy Lucas and what he did to the other people that he kidnapped. Okay. So you know, I, I don't really like the excessively tortury, nasty, mean stuff. <laughs> However, Not a Hero DLC, Chris Redfield, following after, um, following after what happened in Seven, he goes after Lucas. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it's your, but Chris Redfield as a member of Umbrella. Yeah. Because they've become a private military contractor to clean up bioweapons. Yeah. So, yeah. I played through that and it was really short. That's part of why it was free, I think. But it was really good. Yeah. Very cool character. Added elements. something to it. The it gave another layer because to me, Seven, the fact that Lucas was never accounted for mm. and he pissed me off with the entire damn game. Mm. He was such a psycho little bastard with his little traps, his little yeah, plans, yeah, his little, of course. and I just, I just, I would, mm, oh, I want, yeah, I wanted him dead. I forgot about him until you started He's talking about him. Now yeah, I remember a, now. Oh, everything yeah. about him yeah. makes me angry. So that's where not a hero comes in because you're going after Lucas, right? I know. So it was excellent. So it's funny. Uh, with the, I don't know. We're not we're here to just, just like yeah. talk about Resident Evil, but we are. We are at this moment. Yes, is that. I went back, I thought, you know, I want to find out about the Umbrella Corporation and what happened and where yeah. it began. I got onto this goddamn zone on YouTube watching <laughs> watching where Ooh. Umbrella started from, and my brain just melted. Yep. Trying, it's kind of like when a new uh, Metal Gear game's coming out, I oh, always God. go and try to, I, I try to figure out yeah. where, where, we, where we are, where we were, where we, you know, where we're going. And yeah. I, I know sometimes I'm able to keep it together for a while, but, and then also my brain just lets it all go. It's yeah. just a <laughs> And the same for the Umbrella and the Resident <laughs> Evil storyline. I was like, yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm just gonna keep, like, I think that's why I like two and three. They're so damn simple. Yeah. And, and that's something else I like. I love 
Raccoon City. Yes. I love the name. I, I just love, I just, that's it's such that was, a great backdrop. Yeah, it's such a great backdrop. And I loved exploring it. And we even were in it in two separate games. Yeah. Pretty much. And you know, two separate playthroughs in the in the second and all of that. And uh, I just, yeah, I can't get enough Raccoon City. Let's do another game just set yeah. in Raccoon City well, during that time. I'd, I'd I be would, in. I would love to see more of Raccoon City. I would even like to see what happened after the end of three if there were any survivors of. The mm. Fallout. Yeah, the city. To yeah. see if what is still there or if there's yeah. something still going on, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, Not a Hero DLC was, was, was excellent. Yes. There's another one mm. called The End of Zoe. Okay. So, towards the end of the game, you're standing on a dock and, and there's Mia and there's Zoe. Mm. Mia's Ethan's wife. Mm. Zoe is the other daughter from the crazy redneck family. Mm -hmm. So, um, all right. Sorry if there's spoilers. You can either help Mia and cure her or help Zoe and cure her. Mm. And if you leave Zoe behind, end of Zoe explains what happens to her after, which is the canon story. So this one, you played Joe Baker. Mm. So the whole family was the Baker family. Right. Jack was the dad, right? Yeah. Joe's his brother. Okay. No weapons. Oh, jeez. You have these. It sounds like hunk. Yeah, no, no, but, but yeah, you, yeah. You, literally, he's this crazy, super strong redneck. Oh. And you oh. punch all of the monsters to death. Oh my god. Now, this is the wild. most cathartic, after playing through the game with the mold guys and how bullet spongy they were and how annoying all that was, all you're doing is walking around in a swamp, punching the ever loving snot out of everything in sight, and my god, I love it. It's pretty much Splatterhouse, it sounds it's like. awesome. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Do, okay, there, there are gators in the water you can't punch, so they give you some spears. Right. But this is it. It's oh, all this. I was gonna say I thought it was like hunk it's a survival so, thing, but it's not. It's just like No, no, you, you go the in crap. there and just beat the crap out of everything. That's pretty so, good. So basically your left trigger is your left fist, your right trigger is your right fist, yeah. and when a monster comes up and they tell you like you can do certain combos yeah. and it gets better yeah. attacks yeah. in yeah. and you're supposed to aim for the head and the head just like explode. Oh wow. And they'll even prompt you for like a, a quick kill or a stealth kill. No. And grabs the top of its head and he takes his fist and rams it right at the back of their throat. No. Like it's just viciously yeah. gory. Brutal. But f having been frustrated by those monsters for the entire yeah, playthrough. Very good. It was so good to just <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, and then you can knock them down and stomp on them until they explode. Oh my just, god. Oh, it's the most wondrously violent cathartic and the, even the final boss fight is a fist fight yeah it's insane it's yeah man and all your healing items are like little bugs and stuff that oh, you pick wow. up out of them and you eat them to get your wow. health back and, oh it's so good it's interesting because um i'd love to rate my resident evil well how would you rate the resident evils i'd say uh, it'd be two number one yeah three three is a very close second four are you i know you're not I'd put I'm, I'm, one I'm, before four I go two, three, one. That, that, you know, yeah. No, 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 no. I like four more than I like one. I didn't because it was those parasites in the head. Mm. Oh, you didn't like that. It's not I, zombies. We've talked about that before. You're not, yeah. uh, you know, five would no. be way down, I, six would be way down. Uh, seven, uh, seven would be up uh, there. Yeah. Yeah, above that. End of Zoe is close to the top for me for just how satisfying it is. Oh, wow. Just, it's that much fun. Right, right. It really is just that, I mean. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't get. It. And now here's my question, though. <laughs> now that I've played it, why are we dealing with? I mean, like Chris Redfield and Leon Kennedy and Claire Redfield and all these people who have to find all these guns and grenades. And you got this crazy redneck guy that can walk out of the yeah. swamp and just—he's just awesome because he can just punch everything. That's amazing. Why can't we have him? Well, I want another game with him. Why well, you got to play it? So that's good that they had that. Yeah. The, the next, the next game. The next game's back to survival horror and all that. I just think it'd be funny to follow him it, it's, as a side project. Why? Okay, here's the question. Why do you think that they went into first person and went away from the over-the-shoulder? It was solely because the and VR I was like coming VR, out. And I like VR, and it's really unfortunate that they... I don't know if I could do that game. In dude, VR. dude, I did. So here's the thing. Oh. I did the game in VR. Um, oh. And, and no, there was, a, there was a moment where I turned into E.T., yeah, E.T. the Extraterrestrial, I know. I was going around this corner, and all of a sudden these creatures came out, and they scared me so much, I went, 
I did. And Kim, Kim, Kim was like, she said, oh my gosh, she said, she, like, she's the one who like, because I, I just, I just, flew, I lost, I lost my, and I was like, I was sweating, I'm like, oh my God, ah, after that, but I'm trying to figure out what you meant by you turned into heat. I know you're like, I know you're looking at me going, wow, I did it, man, my head extended, I swear, my neck extended, it was like ridiculous, and all of that, and, and yeah, and then I was just like, nope, <laughs> and also to be honest with you, really, after a long time, uh, pl uh, playing that in VR kind of made me ill. I really? Remember, yeah, it, it mm. just kind of it just kind of makes your stomach kind of like sickly, and then you feel it all day after that. And I usually be pretty good, but yeah, it, it's too bad. I I, I yeah. love first person, but Resident Evil is seeing my character. You know, Fair like, yeah, yeah, running around the city or whatever, I, you know, a swamp. I don't care. I like to see my character from behind, and mm. you know, this it, it takes it, It's just weird. Someone did eventually make a mod for Resident Evil Seven where it did put the camera actually behind the guy. The guy's running around. Oh, isn't that cool? Yeah, it's kind of neat, but it's uh, I think it's like Some, a PC somebody, mod. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I would have liked that. Uh, that in, uh, I wish they gave you the option that you could play it in first person or play it. You know, that could be nice. But I think that's the other part of not just the main character, but that. Playstyle is why they're tying seven to eight. Well, I get that as well. So. Yeah, but why didn't we in eight just? Uh, oh, because it's tied together. I get it. So that it's yeah, a continuation. Yeah, 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 so they're gonna yeah. continue the play style. Off, yeah. Right? So I guess we we'll have to wait for nine to get a go back to that style that I personally like. And, it was, and don't don't get me wrong, I, I enjoyed seven. I thought yeah. it really was a good. It gave me the feeling of Resident Evil in a, a lot of ways, but not. Mm. It was a little unsatisfying at hmm. the end for me. I was like. Hmm, that was cool. I'm glad I finished it. I enjoyed the experience, no. but it wasn't. I hold two and three way too high. Well, that's the I thing. I, I mean, said that's the bar for me, and and, and I mean, the, yeah, they are the best in the series, in my opinion, too. Yeah, they, they they're really, really a lot of fun and all of that. So, have you been playing anything else? Oh, see, I mean, I've I played through those. Uh, I downloaded uh, Destruction All Stars as part of the PlayStation games this month. Oh yeah, um, and I've been playing a bunch of that with my youngest How son. How is that? It's actually pretty fun. Is it, is there, yeah, I mean, it's it's quite mindless. You I run around, you jump in cars, that. you do an auto destruction derby. You try does and it, make does points. it look like a PS5 game? Does it give you that kind of? Or does it, it just feel like a PS4ish game? PS4, PS5. I know, like it's I know, a I higher know. graphic. It's 4K. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's mind-blowingly next gen. Yeah, but it looks good and it's fun and it's just a quick. You can pick it up. You can put it down. You smash cars. You had a bad day. Yeah. Go home. You know, have a couple of cold beers and and go drive around and smash cars. Right, that's done. That's, that's all. Stress relief is. is done. I know. Um, I've played that. I've uh, been playing Minecraft with my eldest. Right. He and I are, are are actually working on a survival world and building a house, and then we're trying to get our gear together. We've actually found where you can get through to the Nether and and into the end. I just so, I just can't get into Minecraft at all. I understand having a child and doing it with them. It's like Lego in that yeah. in, in, in virtual yeah, Lego in a lot is. of ways. Yeah, and all of that. Um, what else? I'm just trying to think because there's, um, oh, I, I started playing that game, The Medium. Oh, how was that? Because I really, really want to play. Don't no spoilers. Like no like, spoilers. Well, I mean, I've only just. It, I mean, I've, I've just barely scratched that surface. Just yeah. like maybe an hour of play. Yeah. But first impressions, wild. Really? What an interesting idea. Yeah. Because I expected it to be kind of like Silent Hill, where you would, you know, you're playing and then you go to the dark world, and they kept talking about this perpetuating worlds. Right. They're not kidding. Literally, when you go into that, it goes and it splits the screen, and your character's in the same position in both light and dark worlds. And you're walking through in both light and dark worlds, and every movement is the same. But there's maybe someone in in the sort of the psychic world that you can talk to that's mm -hmm. not here, or you'll talk to a real person in this world that's not showing up here. Right. But so we, it's literally a simultaneous run. Yeah. It's. Wow, it kind of bends the noodle a little. You I, know? I really want to go into that. that. That's one thing. Game Pass is so cool, eh? Isn't it great? Game Pass, it, it, it is and it is. Day one, boom. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, is I want to move on to the medium. But I've been playing. Uh, I'm, I've been talking about it online. I'm playing Ease Nine. I've been taking my time. I've been taking my time to do as much in the game as humanly possible. I'm already like 30 hours in. Type oh of man. Thing. Nice. And yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm on the final chapter right now. And I don't want to talk too much more about it because I'm going to do a big video on it and right. stuff like that and go, go into super detail about it. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it for that. That's what I've been, that's the only stuff I've been doing. I've been just gunning that. Hardcore. Yeah. Kim was doing Strikers for a bit. Now she's back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Nice. And uh, yeah, so that's that's really realistically it. But um, yeah, it's fun to have a Resident Evil chat today oh, as man. well. Oh my God. I mean, we've been dying to sit and talk about it because because what ended up happening too is I'm playing Resident Evil 
uh, three, and I get to Raccoon Police Department. And I was just like, oh man, and I, was, I was having a drink, it was at night, yeah. and I was like, you know, man, when did Resident Evil 2 came out? And I'm like, on the phone, you know, just one of those stupid oh, things, yeah. you, look, you know, yeah, you look things up. And all of a sudden, I'm like, and this is the weirdest thing ever. This is bizarre. It, I look at, it was the date Resident Evil 2 was released, I think like 23 years ago, something yeah. like that. And I'm like, what? What? And I texted you. Yes. And, and I'm like, I can't, but I'm playing Resident Evil 3 Remake, and all of a sudden, uh, I, I realize it's the exact same date that Resident Evil 2 came out. I know it's, it's, it's a strange coincidence, but... But that's I, awesome. But how weird it was, and I texted you, and yeah. I'm like, what, what, what are the chances? And then you're playing Resident Evil 2, and then we're like, uh, yeah. well, we've got to get together and just talk about Resident Evil and all oh, of that kind man. of stuff, because it's so much fun. So, guys, that's some of the games we've been playing recently. So, anyways, guys, until next time.